of support and solidarity for members of a new Tampa mosque intentionally set on fire. Damage to the worship center was minimal, and so was the damage to the will of the Muslims who worship there. Chip Osowski joins us now live from the mosque on Morris Bridge Road, where dozens gathered for an interfaith service earlier tonight. Chip? Well, well, that's right, Jen, and they formed a circle just a few feet from where the fire bugs set fire to this building. Muslims, Catholics, Baptists, and Jews together sending a message to the, to the person who committed this crime. This only makes them stronger. If the arsonist's goal was to create fear and sadness at this new Tampa mosque, that goal was not achieved. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much. Now I feel more comfortable. <laughs> Mom Junaid Khan addressing a crowd filled with people of all religions. I am thanking God for giving us this beautiful community who have came to us, who reached out to us in solidarity, in unity, and showed the haters that this is the America we know. This is the community we know. This is the Tampa we know. Many in attendance feeling compelled to come. What happened here could happen at any place of worship. Tanya Nock Hope believes hatred is non denominational. What it's about is humanity. No, my personal church wasn't attacked, but I have to stand up for my brothers and sisters because one day it could come to my front door. And I want somebody to be there should it come to my front door. Food Rabani agrees. When I see a rabbi, when I see a priest here, it makes me feel so good, so proud. Because this country, you know, this is, this is what is this country about. Help each other, be there for each other. And here's the kicker. There are cameras all around this mosque, so no doubt the criminal who did this was captured on vi video. Authorities are currently looking at the data from those cameras to try and see if they can track down the person responsible. Jen? Well, Chip, it seems at least the damage to the outside of the building was minor, right? Absolutely. You can see it behind me. It is pretty minor damage to the outside of the building. The bad news is that fire did trigger the sprinkler system, so the water damage, from what we understand, inside is a bit more significant. So frustrating. Chip Osowski, live in Hillsborough County tonight. Chip, thank you.